Hey there, everybody. Uh, Omar here with your London outlook for the 19th uh, of November 2015. I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Do want to say a big thanks to everybody that showed up for the news trading session. Uh, it's becoming quite a, actually, quite a large group. Um, and it's great. I also heard from you guys that you did really well with oil yesterday. Um, that's fantastic. So far it's been, you know, hasn't, again, not a ton of trades this week, but the trades we've gotten have been good trades. Uh, not huge, but nice, solid trades. Definitely some gains in the accounts this week. So, uh, it's good to see everybody doing well in that respect. Um, today I think we've got a good shot at making some trades uh, I see things are you know kind of back to good levels particularly I like gold and oil today um, gold has pulled back when we get actually to a different chart you'll see that it's in a really good spot for a potential trade today um, on the weekly you can see that you know we may end up closing below this fib this week but uh, again I'm kind of I'm not so sure but if we do make a reversal we may have some good long trades in the future so but let's not get ahead of ourselves let's go ahead and take a look you can see that we have pulled back remember how I was talking about uh, yesterday kind of the key line was across uh, 107750 uh, we are kind of hugged up a little bit to there right now we have um, you know gone out of this trend line and so I think we have equal opportunity to go in either direction um, once again as I've said before um, this is a uh, you know this is a good area to be looking for a trade. Um, I would have taken the triple convergence, uh, but it's you know it kind of uh, formed after the the day is over, so I I didn't put any forward order in. Um, we'll have to see how this how this one works out. Uh, it may end up just just falling short, which is what I was going to say. Is that if we make a nice rejection from here. Uh, definitely be interested in going short and then back to this chart here. If we can break below this level, uh, which is kind of the other big green, uh, you know, below 10, uh, 1068, 40, or 1068 and a half, and then if we get below 1066, uh, I think we'll have a really, really good run out. Uh, however, we also have the opportunity for um, a buy trade if we break out back secondary move or uh, if we just put good pressure onto super convergence and then blast above so um, either trade uh, as far as the long side would work in my opinion uh, or the rejection to go short would also work so definitely uh, a lot of possibilities there on gold um, looking at the footsie um, you know again spent Wednesday kind of meandering around uh, we're certainly um, you know kind of back on the bullish train here uh, above 6250 uh, certainly what I'm looking for uh, for the long is pull back to either of these areas um, and uh, a move higher uh, or a breakout to move lower so again double option there and uh, again this looks like a triple convergence trade uh, but again it's it's started kind of weak um, and we haven't really been on a, a good bullish run, so I'm I'm personally not going to be taking this, uh, just because I don't like the context of it. Uh, the DAX again has been kind of like we've been talking about, kind of the best bullish option in my opinion. Uh, what we discovered during the news trading uh, session actually was that there were some really good setups on the 15-minute chart. So yeah, if you have some time, um, again, you know should be kind of trading less instruments if, if the DAX is one of those uh, check it out on the 15 minute uh, once things get moving should be good so again you know we're on the bullish side really on on all the index markets looking for pullbacks to support resistance and then a move away the, the bearish option here is very very difficult if we do have a big sell-off today in the index markets I would leave the DAX alone uh, the Dow made it you know uh, a pop uh, on Thursday <clears throat> and you can see, actually, you know, if, if FOMC wasn't such a factor, you can see that once again, after going very, very flat and making a move, it continued. So, again, this is something that we really always should be paying attention to, particularly in index markets. Um, you know, when we get very, very flat markets and then a pop usually works pretty well. Uh, we're back up above 17,500. Look for a pullback. 
in a move higher. Obviously, big sell-off. Secondary move below 1750. Or sorry, 17500. Uh, finally, oil. Uh, I think everybody's done really well this week on oil. I have uh, also done well. And look, for a third day in a row, we're really kind of in the same spot here. Uh, well, you know, and again, we're looking for exactly the same kind of stuff. Um, I know some of you uh, traded the breakout below 42.19. We just need pressure into any of these areas here, and then a rejection below this area, and we can ride the short down again. Uh, probably a good solid first target uh, would be here, or if you want to be very aggressive, uh, just under 42. But that doesn't really give us, you know, a very good run. Hopefully we get a bigger move in oil today. Um, and then that way we can kind of capitalize. But, you know, as I've said over the last couple of weeks, I think right now the best approach is just to take, uh, profits where they lie, um, and not go for too much. So anyway, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the webinar and, uh, I wish you all the best, uh, in your trading. Let's finish the week strong. Take care.